Hey everyone. So, I haven't made a video in a long time, but now I'm back with a new camera, and look, I can do this now. Ooh, yeah, I like it, huh? It's very nice. Anyways, down to business. So, you may have heard that the zodiac signs have all changed, and you might be like, Wow, why is my zodiac sign so different now? The reason actually is, is it has been different for quite some time. See, what happens is the zodiac works with the alignments of the constellation that is above you and predominant from when you're born, but the Earth is tilted. It probably isn't the same way that it is in 2011 as it was in the year one, when the Babylonians put it all together. So, it's been changing over time. In between the time of now and then, the Earth's wobble, its axis, has tilted about 30 degrees, thus changing what star sign you would be under. So, there's a list of all the new signs here. That's neat. It's not like, Oh, I used to be an Aquarius, and now I'm a whatever Aquarius. That's not how it works. They say that whatever you were born knowing is what you were meant to be. Next time someone says, what's your sign? You can still answer an Aquarius or whatever else you were. One of the funniest things that's come out of this story is when I was looking around for all this information, I stumbled on the Christian Science Monitor. The headline read to me like this. It says, New Zodiac Signs 2011. Why astrology is even sillier than we thought. Now that just kind of got me a little like interested. Like, we thought it was already silly. Okay, yeah, I'm not the biggest believer in astrology personally. The fact that they say that they were right this entire time, the Christian Science website says that they were right this entire time. Thanks to a wobble in the Earth's axis, the astrological positions calculated some 2,000 years ago no longer apply, and even back then it was a big load of nonsense. It just blew my mind that Catholic people, or not just specifically Catholic people, or excuse me, Christian people, just religion in general thinks that they know everything, and it really just boggles my mind a little bit. The next thing I wanted to talk about was that there was a video that's been circling around for a while now, and it really kind of like, when I watched it the first time, I was like, oh, this sucks, haha. <laughs> but then I was like, wow, it kind of gave me like a little hope for humanity. Uh, I'll put the link like right here, but it was like, it's a little girl, and she's at singing at a hockey game. She's singing, she's, I think she, uh, she's eight years old, and she's singing the national anthem. But what really gets me is when her mic cuts off, there's a woman who laughs. Who would laugh at that? That's awful. I don't care who you are, that's just inappropriate. First of all, it's our national anthem. Second of all, think about that little poor girl who's out there already terrified. But then the audience comes in and they all start singing with her. It just it gave me a little bit of a hope for humanity. Alright guys, well, I'm glad that I, I have a new camera and all that now, and I'm glad that now I can be making videos again. And uh, hopefully I'll be getting back to making more regular videos. I'm going back to school soon, so I'll see you there. Bye! Oh, the war.